The St. Matthew Passion is a piece that means a great, great deal to me. I've had a lot of experience with this piece, even starting as a very young singer. Um, there's a children's chorus part uh, where Bach has the chorales being sung by a children's chorus, and I sang in that as a member of the Phoenix Boys Choir way, way back. But more recently, I've had the opportunity to really study the piece and to conduct it both here in the United States and in Germany, in both in German and in English. And for me, it's a very personal relationship with this piece. It's something that I felt really important that I wanted to share with, with the Quad City audiences because it is a piece for me that expounds on the drama in really a perfect way. I've chosen to do it in English because I feel it's very, very important that the audience has a direct connection with what the evangelist, our main storyteller, is, is telling, and that the soloists communicate that directly. And I've tried really hard to, to come up with a translation that does all the musical things that, that Bach did, while still being able to communicate directly to English-speaking audiences. And that was really the one most important thing for me, is that this is a piece that speaks directly to me and that I'm really hoping speaks directly to our audience. It of course is during Lent. It's actually will be on Palm Sunday and, and the night before Palm Sunday. And so that is very intentional placement as well. For the music of Bach and for this aesthetic to add to the richness of people's lives, whether they're religious or whether they're not, is something really important to me and something that I really feel deeply committed to sharing with the Quad City Symphony audience.